And welcome back. Living with Parkinson's disease can be challenging, but a rehab program can improve the quality of life for these patients. Erica Vitek is an occupational therapist specializing in Parkinson's disease at Aurora Sinai Medical Center, and she's here to discuss rehabilitation options. Thanks for being here. All right, thank you for having me. Yeah, we appreciate it, Erica. I think when people who are experiencing a loved one with Parkinson's, it's a very difficult um, disease to kind of work with and watch. Mm -hmm. um, talk, about, talk about some of these special programs that you offer it and what they're doing for your patients. Yeah, so definitely. I, I work at Aurora Sinai Medical Center in downtown Milwaukee, and we offer a program called LSVT Big and Loud. And LSVT stands for Lee Silverman Voice Therapy. And it works on addressing the symptoms that come along with having Parkinson's disease. So typically when you think about Parkinson's disease, you think about the, maybe the tremoring mm -hmm. or balance loss or maybe even a quiet voice or shuffling gait and even maybe a little bit of forward flex posturing. So we take the big and loud components of that program and work with patients to help them live a better quality of life. So. And why are those aspects so important, do you think, for people who have Parkinson's? Yeah, so medications is really one of the biggest things that can help with symptoms for Parkinson's, but the second thing is exercise. So physical therapy, occupational therapy, as well as speech therapy can help to address the symptoms and kind of counteract some of the things people experience with Parkinson's. And we have great rehabilitation specialists at Sinai that can help do that and mm -hmm. help people live the quality of life that they deserve and um, get them active in life, community at home and at work. Mm -hmm. so. And let's talk exactly, you know, how they work. When you're working with a patient, yes. um, I think a lot of people have, have kind of started thinking of Michael J. Fox sort of resonating with Parkinson's mm -hmm. and seeing a lot more of the symptoms um, loud and in the media so that if you haven't had experience with it, you're familiar with what a lot of the symptoms are. How do the therapy specifically get in there and work? Yeah, so what we do is we utilize amplitude-based therapy. And what that means is that we are trying to get patients to move bigger with their movements, try to emphasize or exaggerate their movements. Like what? Can you show us what that would be? Would it be something with your hands? Yeah, or? so it's actually full body movements. So okay. we do a lot of things in sitting using the arms and legs together as well as in standing using the arms and legs together. So we sustain certain movements that would be used throughout everyday life, working on posture. So we might mm -hmm. have patients raise their arms above their heads and squeeze their shoulder blades together trying to be big and tall as well as emphasizing voice. So mm -hmm. trying to to get quiet voice louder and just just exaggerating that movement. We're trying to retrain the body how to sense what normal movement feels like and we kind of recalibrate the system is, mm -hmm. is our goal. What should people expect when they sign up for this kind of therapy? Yeah, so it's a pretty intensive program and that's really what's been found and proven in the research to work for Parkinson's, exercising at a very high intensity level and something that's very complex. So the program runs four times a week for four weeks. So it's a Monday through Thursday program from nine to noon. So very intensive, very interactive. It's a one-on-one -on -one type treatment. Uh, however, there's two people going through the program at the same time. So those two people then get together mm -hmm. work and work with the Wii Balance and Gaming System as well with our recreational therapist and they get involved together and get to know each other so there's a little social interaction as well. Mm -hmm. That's really nice and, and it's good to know that people should keep doing their regular activities. Are yes. there other unique aspects of the program that you, that you haven't touched on yet? Yes, absolutely. So we have an integrative medicine department that I work closely with so we do other things for Parkinson's such, such as acupuncture, massage therapy and they've all had special training in Parkinson's as well. We have very close relationship with our movement disorder specialist who is just down the hall from us who is our neurologist and he can really help to um, address some concerns for patients as well. Uh, we also have a one time a month follow-up class so after patients mm -hmm. are done with the month program they can come and follow up with their therapists, get involved with us, ask questions as well as exercise for an hour doing uh, voice as well as big movement therapy all together. And we, we also have one other program, it is the, the continence program. So a lot of patients experience bowel and bladder problems when they have Parkinson's. So we have specialty programs to address that as well. I think great. it's great. And I know you've got um, the programs going on that people can join um, and take part in. Uh, and so I want to make sure everybody has the information great. so they can learn how they can join a group if you're interested or if you have a loved one with Parkinson's. Um, contact Aurora Cyanide Rehab Program at 414-219-5241 or visit them online at aurorahealthcare.org. And that's where you can find out more about the program that Erica talked about. It's LSVT.
Thanks so much yes. for being here. And Thank great you. that you don't need a doctor's referral yeah. either, which yes, is fantastic. Yes, we can go ahead and work on that with the patients. So. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Nice to have you Thank here. Thank you.